This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 31. And they that use this world as not abusing it, for the fashion of this world passeth away. Brakathiawa, Brakathiawa Shai. Brakathiawa, Brakathiawa Shai. Brakathiawa, Brakathiawa Shai. Bahashem, Brakaha, Kwadash. Yahawa being the name of the Father, Yahawa, meaning He exists. In the Pelia Hebrew, who the world ignorantly calls God, His name is Yahawa. Bahashem in the name. Yahawashai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Yahawashai, His name is Yahawashai, meaning He delivers. Bahashem in the name. Rakaha. Quadash, Spirit Holy, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who teach well and rule well, who taught me this truth. Peace, salutation to the Akyam, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth at risk in their own lives with the four corners of the earth. To the Akwath listening, the Akwathium, listening and learning in sincerity and in truth and in silence. Shalom. It's your brother Shema from the Pillars of Benjamin Camp. Here in Toronto with another lesson. We'll get right into it. 1 Corinthians 7, verse 31. And it reads, And they that use this world, right, you know, we're still here in a, we're still here yet this day in our captivity. We still gotta navigate. We still gotta use things. We still gotta pay bills. We still gotta clock in at Esau's plantation. As not abusing it, right, but we're not locked in. To, to, to Esau's matrix right we're not consumed with the world the ways of this world right we're not trying to hang on to this right a lot of people are going to start bugging out as this thing collapses a lot of people who have invested in this are going to start bugging out people are going to be jumping off buildings off in themselves. Woe is me, don't know what to do. Turn into savages. Right? But the elect, Lord willing, we are of that number, will we'll be in that Isaiah 33 verse 6 spirit. Right? For the fashion of this world passes away. Right? We know, <clears throat> Salakia, us in this truth, we know that this is done. Right? Scriptures tell us this place is going to be done. Leading up to the return of our Lord and Savior. Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. A lot of a lot of a lot of things are gonna happen. A lot of terrible things. A lot of things never seen before. A lot of savagery. Right, let's read this in uh some of the other translations. First Corinthians seven verse thirty one NLT. Those who use the things of the world should not become attached to them. Right, we're not attached, man. Right? Clock in, clock out. Occupied in prophecy. Sirach 39 verse 1. Occupied in the meditation thereof. This word, this truth. Occupied in pushing out lessons. Occupied in walking in the spirit. Right? Those that those who use the things of the world should not become attached to them. Right? All this is going all this is going done away with. For this world as we know it will soon pass away, right? And the Lord Yahweh Shai is coming to bring fire to this place, man. Luke 12 and 49. NIV. Those who use the things of the world as if not engrossed in them, for this world in its present form is passing away. Right? All things listen. The 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 the, the rat race the ham, the rat race the hamster wheel, it's done. Right? What's their what's their mantra? The WEF, you'll own nothing and be happy. They're coming to bring the grain of rice. The Revelation 13 verse 16 on down. The C hip. The M to the O to the T to the B. And in order to bring that in, they got to collapse this thing as we know it. Right? As we know it. Second Ezra. Right? Mass death is coming. Martial law is coming. Scriptures say they shall be as madmen. 
second is your 16 Second is 16, verse 70, verse 68. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you. The great multitude, the burning wrath of the great multitude is Esau, Edom, their elites, their, their international banking families, the banking cartels. And they shall take away certain of you, right? And it's kindled over Jake, primarily Jacob, all 12 tribes. And they shall take away certain of you and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols, right? They're going to, they're going to see hip you, man. The things offered unto idols is, is a C hip, the C H I P, the M to the O to the T to the B. Being idle meaning internment camps, detention centers, FEMA camps. Verse 69. And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot. Right. And why are people why are people going to consent unto these things? To hang on to the fashions of this world, the ways of this world. The people of this world are still engrossed in the ways of this world. They're still hanging on to the ways of this world. They're still consumed with the ways of this world. They don't know Yahweh Shai. They don't know Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Verse 70, For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. They shall be like mad men, sparing none. Right? Scriptures say in Isaiah 59, verse 19, roughly paraphrasing, the enemy shall come in like a flood. Who's the enemy? Esau, Edom, his military, his Gerga troops. It says here they shall be like mad men, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods, and cast them out of their houses. Right? They're going to be coming with their. They're going to be coming with their sword, which is their killing instrument, which is the gun. They're going to be butting off faces. Telling you, get down or lie down. Right? They're going to be pulling people. They're going to be snatching people up. They're going to be snatching up Jake. Telling you, get down or lie down. And many are going to get down. Because they don't want to let go. Verse 74. Hear, O ye, my beloved. Who are the beloved? The elect. The saints. Who are the saints? Israelites. Beginning with the elect on this side. Hear, O ye, my beloved, saith the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand. Right? These days of trouble are at hand. Right? They're forwarding their agenda speedily. Ultimately, it's the Lord putting the Spirit on them. It's the Lord's will. But they're moving with great haste, speedily. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand. The time of Jacob's trouble. Jeremiah 30, verse 7. Daniel 12 and 1. Second Ezra 15 and 16. Luke, the 21st chapter. Mark, the 13th chapter. Matthew, the 24th chapter. But I will deliver you from the same. The elect, Lord willing, we are that number. Stay prayed up. Pray without ceasing. Shalom to the hopeful elect.